Well, if you want your child to grow up to be a doctor, now is your shot to drum up some interest. Yeah, get him hooked. Mother Francis and the Lewis and Peaches Owen Heart Hospital have been performing robotic assisted surgeries in East Texas for seven years. To celebrate the milestone, they donated a hands-on robotic exhibit for children today. It's located at the Discovery Science Place in Tyler and CBS 19's Melissa Daigle checked it out. Melissa, is that an actual robotic surgery system behind you there? Yep, that's right. I'm actually in the surgeon's seat right now and what you're looking at behind me, this is the real deal. This is actually what would be used in a real heart surgery and now kids have the opportunity to come here and experience something a little similar for themselves. It's really cool. Ten-year-old Zoe Williams was one of the first kids to experience the new children's robotic exhibit. And she says others should try it out too. It's like really awesome and it's like just like what they would use in a surgery room. Dr. William Turner agrees. He became the first doctor in East Texas to perform robotic bypass surgery back in 2004. Since then, he's performed more than 300 of them. Turner says he hopes this exhibit inspires children to follow in his footsteps. I think they can learn firsthand about what we do uh, in the operating room, and it gives them a, a very uh, good introduction, if you will, uh, to medicine, particularly cardiac surgery. Hopefully we can get them interested. Do you want to be a doctor? Yes. But the idea of using a robot to perform heart surgery is still a hard concept for nine-year-old Emery Dubree to understand. Hearts? Yeah, for surgery. Like robotic surgery. Turner says the biggest difference between invasive surgery and robotic heart surgery is that patients don't have a large scar down the center of their chest, and recovery time is about half as long. Now, doctors say learning how to perform robotic heart surgery can be complicated, but these kids tell me it's really no different from the claw machines you find in arcades. Reporting from the Discovery Science Place in Tyler, Melissa Daigle, KYTX, CBS 19 News. Back to you. Yeah, maybe a little bit more at stake, though. Embry looked a little nervous there in his lab coat. All right, Melissa, thank you. Now, the option to undergo robotic heart surgery is a patient's choice, but not everyone is a candidate. The surgery is only currently available for people with heart disease on the front of their their heart. Due to physical constraints, the robot cannot maneuver as easily to disease on the right side of the heart.